Manhattan. This is developing a new bill with bipartisan support is making its way through the Colorado legislature. The bill would put a resolution on the ballot in November for voters to decide whether first degree murder suspects should be eligible for bail. As it stands right now, they are eligible. That bill looking to change that passed the House with a 59 to 5 vote just earlier this month and is on its way to the Senate Judiciary Committee for a reading. But so far, it has not been voted on. 11 News reporter Jared Dean spoke with lawmakers and the DA about the impact of this bill and brings us the story. The state used to have this policy in place, but when the death penalty was abolished in Colorado in 2020, so was this bail policy. Those I spoke with today tell me they want to reverse that decision and bring back no bond for capital offenders. So what this resolution and this bill does is put it back to where it has always been, where if you have um, been charged with first degree murder, you will not be eligible for bond. A bill moving its way through the Colorado government, if passed, will lead to a resolution that you will be seeing on your November ballot. Currently, in the state of Colorado, first-degree murder suspects have the right to have their bail set by a judge. One example, Nicholas Jordan is accused of shooting and killing two people in a UCCS dorm room. He's facing two first-degree murder charges and is currently in the El Paso County Jail with a $5 million bond. It's important that we know as a community that uh, these defendants are in jail and not eligible for bond. Most of these crimes can be heinous crimes, and it's really important that we know that our communities are safe. Fourth Judicial District Attorney Michael Allen says this bill would do more to protect victims and their families of capital offenses. We're talking about the worst of the worst offenders. Let's deal with these folks that are committing the most atrocious, horrific offenses in our community statewide. Let's make sure that we can hold those folks without bond. I reached out to all five representatives in the House who voted against this bill and did not receive a response. This bill will be seen again in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee next Monday, the 25th. In Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11.